When I'm determining the solutions to inequalities or I'm solving linear inequalities, I can do it two ways. I can do it by hand, which means I plug in x and y. I plug in my point x and y and see if it's true. I see if the inequality is true. Or I can do it by graphing, and if I'm graphing, I need to see are the points in the shaded area. That's the question I'm asking myself, is are the points in the shaded area or on the solid line? So if they're in the shaded area or on the solid line, they are solution. So is negative 2, 4 a solution? Well, I need to plug in stuff. I need to see what happens when, if this works. So negative 2 is my x value, so I'm going to plug that in for x. And positive 4 is my y value, so I'm going to plug that in for y. So I'm going to rewrite this equation. So 3, and then instead of x, I'm going to write in a negative 2 plus y, and instead of y, I'm going to plug in 4, and I want to see is that greater than or equal to 5. So I need to work out the left side over here mathematically, so 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 4, and I'm still trying to figure out if it's greater than or equal to 5. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Negative 2, it says, it's my problem says negative 2 is greater than or equal to 5. Well, that is not true. Negative 2 is not greater than or equal to 5, so that tells us that negative 2, 4 is not a solution. That's what that tells us. Because this inequality was not true, so because negative 2, 5 was not true, that tells us that this ordered pair is not a solution. So now I want to know, is 0, negative 5 a solution to y is less than 2x plus 3? Well, again, 0 is my x. I'm going to plug that in for x. Negative 5 is my y. I'm going to plug that in for negative 5. So I'm going to rewrite this so I have negative 5 is less than 2 times, instead of x, I'm going to put 0 plus 3. Well, I'm going to work the math out over here. So I have negative 5 on the left side is less than 2 times 0 is 0 plus 3, and 0 plus 3 is 3. So I have to look at this inequality. Is negative 5 less than 3? Well, that is true. So since this is true, that tells us that 0, negative 5 is a solution tells us 0, negative 5 is a solution. So now I need to determine, are these points solutions to this particular inequality? So if they're solutions, remember they're going to be in the shaded area or on the solid line. So as long as they're in the shaded area or on the line that's solid, we're good. So I'm going to do these one at a time. I'm going to color code them. So I have my first point negative or positive 2, negative 3, which would be here. That is in the shaded area, so it is a solution. My next point is positive 4, 5, which would be here. And that's this point. And it's in the shaded area, so it is also a solution. My next point is the point 3, 7. So that's to the right 3 and up 7. That is here. Since it is on the line, it is going to be a solution because this line is solid. Because this line is solid. If this line was a dashed line, then this would not be a solution. So my next point is negative 2, positive 6. So I'm going to go left 2 and up 6. It's over here. That point is not in the shaded area, so it is not a solution. Then I have the point negative 6, negative 8. So I'm going to go left 6 and down 8. That point is here. That point's in the shaded area, so it is a solution. I have the point 1, 9. So I'm going to go to the right 1 and up 9. 
that's here. That point is not in the shaded area, so it is not a solution. And then lastly, I have the point 0, 0, which is here at the origin. That point's in the shaded area, so it is a solution. So any point that is in the shaded area is a solution. And if our line is solid, then any point on the line is also a solution. So we want to know, are these points solutions to the inequality below? So are negative 2, 3, 0, 5, and 1, negative 6 solutions to the inequality? Negative 2x plus 4y is less than negative 8. In order to figure this out, I first need to solve this inequality for y, and I'm going to have to graph this. That's, at least that's how I'm going to do it, because it did give me a graph for this. So to get y by itself, I need to get rid of the minus 2x, which means it's going to become a plus 2x on the right side. So that's gone from the left. And now I need to get rid of the 4 that is multiplied by y in front. So I'm going to divide both things on the right by 4. And that 4 is going to be gone. I get y is less than negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. 2 over 4, I cannot divide that, but it does reduce to 1 half x. Notice I did not change my inequality sign. That's because the number I divided by, the number in the denominator, was positive 4. So I want to leave that alone. So now I can identify my slope and my y-intercept. My b value, my y-intercept is by itself, and that is negative 2. And my slope is what's multiplied. It's my m. It's multiplied by x, so my m is positive 1 half. So directionally, I'm going to go up 1 and right 2. So I can graph my y-intercept, my b, getting at negative 2. And my slope was 1 over 2, so I'm going to go up 1 and right 2 and up one and right two, and I can repeat that several times. Remember the opposite of going up and right is to also go down and left, so I can go down one and left two, and, and extend my line even further. So next I need to connect my line. So because this symbol in here was just the less than, that tells me first of all that my line is going to be dashed because it's just less than, it's not a solid line. And the second thing that it tells me is that because it's less than I need to shade down, I need to shade everything that is below the line. So this time I am going to shade in highlight so that we can easily see because I know what's coming next. So I'm going to highlight over this whole area here. This is what's going to be shaded. So now we need to determine, are these points up here that they've given us, are they solutions? Remember, if they're solutions, that's two things. If they're solutions, then they are going to be in the shaded area or on the solid line. That's what it means to be a solution, is it's in the shaded area or on the solid line. So we begin with the point negative 2, positive 3. So I'm going to go left 2 and down 3, and I end up here. This point, since it is on the line, this point is not a solution, okay? This point would not be a solution because it's on the line, and this line is a dashed line. If this line had been solid, that would be a different answer. But because it was dashed, it's not going to be a solution. My second point is 0, 5. 0, 5 is going to be on the y-axis up here. Well, this point is not in the shaded area, so it is not a solution. And my last point is positive 1, 6. So I'm going to go to the right one and down 6, and that point would be down here. That point is in the shaded area, so it would be a solution. So 1, negative 1, 6, sorry, 1, negative 6 was my only solution.